in every house there is that corner that no matter we do is still untidy and cluttered in every relationship there is that topic sensitive topic that whenever we try to talk about it tension arises in every business there is that process or function that's lagging inefficient and dragging the whole results down these i call examples of the hot spots to learn more keep watching Whole story at Corporate Magazine. Hi, I'm Hanana Wed, President of Corporate Inc. We help you to craft your strategy, optimize your process, and manage your success. Today, we are talking about those hot spots in every situation, or every relationship, or every organization that's causing the majority of the troubles we are facing running the business, running the house, running the life, or running the relationship. So, what to do about these hot spots? The first step is recognizing the hot spot. So, let's take these examples that I mentioned earlier. In that house, so no matter we try to tidy it up or tidy this corner it always accumulate clutter happens it's not up to our expectations so once we identify the hot spot we start asking questions why this happens um, do we bring more things don't we get rid of us the thing that we don't need uh, do we have uh, an emotional void that we are trying to fill what's the real cause of this in the relationship let's suppose that it's it's money so whenever the two partners start talking about money um, the conversation get tensed um, uh, someone get aggressive someone uh, get defensive so why is it because we don't earn enough or we spend a lot or do we have different expectations do we have different lifestyles that we want to live the more we ask questions we will understand why this specific topic is a hot spot in this relationship in business no matter how, what's the scale of the business if it is a small business micro business solopreneur a uh, big business there is always in the workflow that spot that's a bottleneck or a department that's dragging the uh, the results of the whole team down um, uh, or a function that's you know uh, inefficient or can be better so once we recognize the hot spot and identify the problem we can start with the, with the next phase finding a solution and again finding the solution um, is by asking more questions the more questions we can ask the more answers we can get and the more clearer the picture will be after identifying the hot spot and asking as many questions as we can comes the next step identifying the root cause of the problem there are so many factors that will affect this situation some factors will contribute one percent of the problem um, 0.5%, 20%, whatever. But there is always one root cause or a very, very small number of factors or causes that's responsible for 80% or more of, of this 
problem. Once we identify these root cause or root causes or critical factors, we can tackle these factors one by one and start design a solution for this. So let's go back to the examples. In this relationship, maybe the cause, the root cause of tensions around money is poor money management for one of the partners. This one factor contributes to the majority of our financial problems. So what's the solution? Maybe learn uh, some techniques and some tools to manage money properly. Maybe one of the partners who have uh, more advanced or improved skills can take the lead role in managing money. Maybe it's different expectations. One of the partners expects something and the other one expects something less. So, okay, let's sit down and discuss and compromise. So you can agree on this so I can agree on that um, in 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 business okay why we have this bottleneck maybe we don't have enough resources maybe we did not allocate enough resources we have the resources but we did not allocate the resources to this process or maybe the tools we are using inefficient these are the factors the root causes of this problem and once we understand the root cause we can design the solution and my advice is to phase the solution make it step by step create some habits create a system here to tackle these problems i hope that you gained some insights and perspective on what I call the hot spots, and you can take just a few minutes in your day to, to identify and recognize what's causing attention in a situation, in a place, in a relationship, and identify those hot spots and follow the process that I shared with you and write me down what's the hot spot you identified, what was your approach. Um, how, what are the questions? It's very, very important to understand how to ask the right questions. And don't forget to subscribe and like and share.